Just on my way to go to Davy, we're gonna go and sit in the shed end at Chelsea and watch Chelsea v West Ham. Obviously, we're both West Ham fans. West Ham is not in good form. Chelsea are. This is not gonna be pretty viewing and we're now sitting in the Chelsea end. Um, courtesy of Warren getting us tickets, so I'm grateful to that. This should be interesting. Not fun, but interesting. I'll come back on when Davey's here. Right, I'm with Davey now, as you can see. Um, before we head off to the ground, we're just going to quickly go through West Ham's starting lineup. So, Davey, take it away, mate. In goal is Martin. Big surprise there. Actually, no surprise, really, is there? Well, the of, yeah. the, what's the other keeper's name? <laughs> Roberto. Roberto is terrible, yeah. so Martin can't be any worse. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, right back is Fredericks. I don't like him. What do you think of Fredericks? Um, I think he's good going forward. He's yeah, not so good defensively. Better offensively, we think. I don't but, rate um, him. Yeah. I, I, against Chelsea, I'd have Zabaleta. Yeah. Who's centre back? Centre back, we have got uh, Ogbonna and Balboa. Balboa. Bal Balboa. Balboa. And yeah. Ogbonna. And Ogbonna. No Diop, no. No, no Diop. No Diop today. Okay. I mean, between the three of them, I think it's either or either. So, left back is it? Left back is Creswell. Um, okay. Yeah, jury's still out. The again. thing is, I <laughs> think personally, Masuaku is overall he's a better player and he's more of a threat going forward. But once again, it's sort of either or. Either. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's uh, four-one. Sorry, I've lost the lineup. It's a four-one. Yeah. Click on that lineup. 4-1, four, 4-1. One, four, one. So, uh, Rice holding midfield. Okay, he needs to get back to his best, I think. Yeah, I think sometimes he's just um, dwelling on the ball a bit too long instead of just making a, just a quick, simple pass. Uh, four across the midfield, or, yeah. Um, Snodgrass, Noble, Fornells, and Anderton. Anderson, even. I hope we ain't got Darren Anderton. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fornells, I'm not impressed with him. This season at all, Noble works hard. Snodgrass, I like. Anderson needs to up his game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Fornell's done nothing so far. He's, we know he's obviously got potential, but he's, he's shown none of it in the Premier League as, as yet. Snodgrass, I'm glad to see him in the team. May not be the quickest player on the pitch, but he works hard and will definitely be. Um, he's definitely a good squad player. Noble, well, we don't know what Noble can do. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll give a performance. And Anderson, yeah, it's almost like he's been playing with his slippers on, mate. Mm. Well, um, up front, up front, we got Antonio, which is I'm glad he's in the squad. Yeah, I mean in the starting lineup. Sorry, he works hard. He's a threat. Um, no, Allaire. What do you think about that? Um, I think Allaire started well, and then he's gone a bit off of boil. I'm not sure. I don't know. By all reports, he works better with another striker. Mm, so, he looks like that as well. Yeah. So I think if that's the case, then you can see why he's uh, yeah. He's gone with Antonio today, and hopefully we'll get a team performance. Right, what's the, just quickly, what's the subs bench? The subs bench is um, Zabaleta, Yamalenko, yep. Roberto, Sanchez, Hala, Masaraku, and Ajeti. Ajeti. Okay, well, um, just quickly, I've said it already on, on the way here, we are sitting in the shed end as West Ham fans. West Ham's in poor form. Chelsea's in, in good form, they're at home. Um, later on in the video, I'm gonna put up screenshots of our away form and their home form. But just quickly, let me show you that underneath it, I've got my West Ham, West Ham shirt on. I won't brave it in front of the Chelsea fans. <laughs> but what's your score predictions, Davey? I think if we get a point, we're lucky. Personally, I think, oh, well, I'd like to say, I think, well, to be fair, West Ham does well a bit against Chelsea. Normally. So, normally, yes. Um, it's a new Chelsea side. I could still see Chelsea win it, but I'm going to go for 2 2 draw. <sighs> and, and just proof. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to go for 4 or 5 1 Chelsea. Right. West Ham's, Chelsea concede, West Ham score. West Ham is in a terrible run of form. If we get a point, I will be over the moon. But I'm saying four or five on Chelsea, and that's with a heavy heart. And you're saying two-two. Yeah, I'm saying two-two. 
Right. I'm saying 2 2. I think West Ham is due our performance. We can't be that bad for so many games. He's changed the team around. We've got Antonio. If we get an early goal, mm. yeah, maybe we can get a little draw out. Right, we're, we're, we'll probably have a few little snippets of us at the game. Um, and then, yeah, we'll be back shortly. <laughs> Oh, took the glasses off, he's queuing up. We've been walking around for a long time. Yeah, trying to find the seats, but we're here in the stadium. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got good seats on, uh, good view. We're looking forward to the game. No one behind us. Yeah, a little bit. Thank you. 
Happy Hammers. Go on, you. Go on, you heads. Happy, happy Hammers. It's, uh, it was a bit frustrating in there because we were sitting with all these Chelsea fans, so we couldn't really express our yeah, joy. Our true emotions. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had to walk back to the car. So that was a, a great performance by West Ham. Yes. yes. And totally Davy was closer to the correct score. I said West Ham would score one goal, he said 2 2, so he was closer. I don't know how we pulled that one out of the bag. Seriously, after, I don't know, our recent form and Chelsea's recent form. That's a, a, a really good result. We're going to just go through the the player ratings. So if we go back to, I know who Martin was in goal. He didn't have much to do though, did he? He didn't have much to do, no. He did, but he did okay with what he had to do. I put my glasses on, guys, so I can see. There was a couple of shots that we said, listen, like he, he dropped them in it. Yeah, yeah, he, um, but not, he saved the initial shot, but yeah, he, he didn't hold on to them, and then there was a few he, um, that he had to make a second save from, but generally he did okay. Yeah, uh, he think, done what he uh, needed to do. So, And, and I don't know if the, the change sort of had a, um, a knock-on effect in confidence-wise for the back four, because they seemed exactly. more stable, didn't they? Did yeah, because... Uh, no. Is his name Roberto? Yeah, Roberto, he's, yeah. He's, no. So I'm going to give... Because it's his... I think it's his, yeah, it's his, his Premier League debut. I'm going to give Martin a 7 out of 10 as the keeper. What about you? Yeah, I'll go along with that. I'll go along with that. 7 out of 10. So that's, that's a combined score. total of... He's, he's got a, a 7. All right, we'll go to Fredericks. Fredericks. At, at right back. I know Martin don't like him, do he? <laughs> he, he? He defensively can be a bit of a liability. I think his speed, just his sheer speed, gets him out of trouble a lot of the time. Not the best technically on the ball. His decision making is yeah, poor as yeah. well. But the thing is, we kept a clean sheet. Yeah. So I'd go along with the seven as well. I'd have to. I'd have yeah. to give him a seven because we kept a clean sheet. Yeah. And we played against a, a, a good team. So Fredericks, seven. because of the yeah, as a as a unit, we got a clean sheet. I'm going to give him a seven. Yep. I'd agree with that. We go to Balbuena. Balbuena, he did okay, didn't he? He done alright. Yeah, as well. two centre backs were 
Um, really good today, actually. Yeah, he did what he needed to do. Intercepted quite a lot of passes. No mistakes up, for no him. No mistakes for him. Or, yeah. You know, seemed to work pair, um, well as a pair with... Um, Ogbonna. Yeah, Ogbonna. So, yeah. Seven? Seven, yeah. I would oh, give him a seven as well. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Um, all right, we. I think we're both on the same page here. Ogbonna. Yeah, I, he, he, I think he was my man of the match. Definitely. Yeah, he was He was my man of the match. When he went down, I was a bit nervous because I didn't know. Remember, um, it was off the ball, so we didn't see what happened. And I thought he might come off. He came back on like hobbling a bit. And I, oh. I said to Dave, if he comes off, we're in trouble. Yeah, we looked to the bench and we thought, well, if anything, Declan Rice will go to centre-back, probably bring on And Sanchez, Sanchez maybe, yeah. yeah. We but thought, pff, he, Ogbonna, was, to me, was immense. Yeah. Definitely. And to see it like up close, he he won everything. Every individual battle he won. Colossal performance. I would give Ogbonna... I would give him a 9.5. I'll give him a 9. I mean, it, the thing with Ogbonna, when he, kept, he was highly rated in Italy when he came to West Ham. Um, we, we didn't see that initially when he came into the Premier League. And, you know, with performances like this, what we saw today, you can see why he's highly rated. And why, football, yeah, right? why was it Juve? Like, yeah. you don't, you're not a Juve if you're, like, not up to scratch. Yeah. He was immense. Yeah, I would give a 9.5, but obviously we'll have to run it off to Obana gets a 9. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 9 to Obana. Creswell. Creswell scored the winning goal. And right? it was a good goal yeah, as well. Yeah, good goal. Took it well. Took it on his right foot. Yeah. Cut inside. Cut inside. Right foot finish, far corner. And that's the winning goal. Yeah. So, I did say, I, yeah, he's a, he's a funny one. Like, he can have really good games and then sometimes not so much so. But today, the goal counts for a lot. So, his score for me would have to, I will give him an eight. Yeah, I would go along with that. I was going to say eight as well. I will give him an so, eight because he yeah, scored the winning goal. He scored the winning goal. He wasn't flawless in his performance, but he scored but, a winning yeah, goal away to Chelsea. Yeah, and... You know, part of a back line that kept us clean sheet. Exactly. So, yeah, an eight. So yeah. he's got an eight. Okay, midfield. Was it... Midfield. Did they have it had, done as... Yeah, Rice. We had Rice in the uh, holding. Yeah. Uh, Rice and Noble. All right, we'll start with Declan Rice. He's another one that he done everything that was needed of him. Yeah. Swept up yeah. when he could carry the ball forward and sort of give us a bit of respite. He'd done that. Um... There was players around him that if they was on the same page as him, then we could have had, I reckon, a bit more joy as well. Yeah, I agree. Definitely a good performance. Um, recycled the ball well, kept uh, kept possession when he, when we had the ball, and played simple. I think I think he played a lot quicker today rather than dwelling on the ball, and uh, therefore, yeah, gave away position or possession less. So what what would you say for him? I'd give him an eight. I'm about to say yeah, eight as well. I'll give him an eight. So Declan Rice gets an eight. And uh, let's go Noble. Noble, yeah, I agree. Uh, See, Noble, like, he's West Ham through and through, so he will give you everything. Yeah. Sometimes I think he, he, he tries too much on the ball or, or he don't know his limitations. So, you understand? He tries to do Iniesta type stuff when that's not his game. He dwells on the ball a bit as well. He got caught in possession a few times. But <laughs> he's playing against good, good players as well. Away to Chelsea. Yeah. I would give Noble a seven. No, Bob. Good performance. Um, yeah, the thing is, I would give him seven and a half. Okay. Yeah. So we have to run off As to seven. seven. Yeah. No, we'll get to seven. Noble no, we'll gets to seven. Right, we'll go to... Go it's to the wings. we we'll go to Snodgrass first. Yes, yeah, Snodgrass. On the right side of midfield. Good performance, actually. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. works hard. Yeah. It's funny, because when he first came to West Ham, he was on a play at a rated. I know he went out on loan for a while. Then he came back. He played really well out on loan. Came back. And you could see why he's rated. The um, people rate him outside um, of West Ham, are probably now so in West Ham. But he, good, another good solid performance. He works hard. Works hard. And yeah, the thing hard. is, we were just saying on the way back that we're in our predicament near the bottom. You need people who's going to yeah, roll up their sleeves, yeah. and, and obviously you want Fine. quality, but they got to yeah. work. Um, yeah, he done well. He was always involved, helping sort of in attack and defence. And yeah, kept running. Never kept, never stopped running. I'd give him, I'd give him an eight. You give him Snodders an eight. Yeah, I'd give Snodders an eight. Yeah, because Rice has got eight, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So Snodgrass gets an eight. We we'll go to 
Anderson. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's hit and miss with him sometimes, isn't it? Mm. You know, um, he can be so good. Technically, we know that he's he's a very good player. However, sometimes he looks disinterested, doesn't he? You know, like almost like he just wants to play when he's on the ball. Exactly. You know, and doesn't want to do as we spoke about with Snodgrass. Don't want to do the other side of the game. You know, mm. the dirty side, so to speak, of running and hustling and trying to get the ball back, winning the ball back. But on the ball, obviously, we know he's, he's as good as they come. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he had a bad game today. I no. have, I, out of the subs that we could have made, I wouldn't have taken him off. I agree. I would have kept him on the pitch. I would have kept him on the pitch because he can keep the ball for us. You know, when we. When Chelsea started to put the pressure on, if you play it up to him, he can keep the ball, can't he? Yeah. Uh, and wow, well, wind your free kick or get you up the pitch. So, because he, because they took him off, I'd probably give him a seven and a half. I'll give him a seven. So. Yeah, I'll give him an overall seven. So yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, four nails. Four nails. <laughs> Martin's favourite player. I don't know what? what he done in that game. <laughs> Seriously, like, and the thing is, at half time, I said I would have taken him off and put on. Um, Masawaku yeah. because it looks to me like Rhys James this is my personal opinion when it comes to defensively when there's like tricky players with pace he don't like that he's good going forward he's good in possession but I think and Fornell's to me Made defensively him, yeah. and, and attacking wise he to me he didn't he was not in the game yeah. And I don't know how he stayed on ahead of Anderson. It's funny, uh, Martin made a comment inside the stadium that he looked like uh, an under 18s player in yeah. the men's game, you know. And yeah, he has that look about him at times. Um, he's highly rated, I know, by Pellegrini and Cole, but um, as yet, we've yet to see anything from him. And today was, I think. <laughs> he did the basics well, but yeah, you know, if, it, he nah. should have come off the pitch, if anything, the first sub to come off. Because he's part of a team that won. Um, 1-0, clean sheet and all that. I don't want to be too harsh on him, but I would give him a 6. Yeah, I was going to say that. I was going to say, he'd probably be the one player that drops below the sort of six, the 7, seven yeah. yeah, seven line. So I I agree, I'll go with a 6. And he's that, the type of player that will end up getting a manager to sack because yeah. he's not putting a shift in. Yeah. Oh, did that just go? Yeah. Probably, did you turn? One sec. Technical fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're back. We're back. So yeah, four nails to me gets a six. If we'd have lost the game and he played like that, he'd probably get a four. But obviously he's done. He's made it. He's made some sort of contribution. Yeah, of course. Um, so we go to then it's it's just Antonio. Uh, Antonio, then. yeah. Mikel Antonio. It was the right thing to start him after last week's performance. I think you can see he's, he's not. Back to his full fitness, but he will always put in a shift. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. was, no, I was gonna say he was a threat. He was a threat. Like you can see, like they don't like playing against people like that yeah. because he, he's kind of powerful in, in his running and, and he's most of the time he's sort of always on the move. Just before he come off, we were saying like he kind of stopped making those. Runs right, for yeah. the lost cause and that, and that's maybe because his fitness yeah, is, fatigue, is not. Yeah, we think fatigue. Exactly. I mean, yeah, I think we had he forced one save at the. Um, yeah. yeah, with a header, with a header, and that was a good save. Chelsea keeper, so I don't know who who handled the goal that was disallowed. He did. He scored. Oh, it was yeah, him. It was Antonio. Yeah, he yeah. scored in the second half. I mean, we've got to see it back. I yeah. mean, VAR said it was handball, but I thought he put it on his body. It may have touched his arm on the way in, but I don't think it was handball, as in the rules of the game. It's a harsh decision. Should have been two 0 so, the subs. Who was the first Score one? Score for Antonio. Oh, sorry. I would give him an eight. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I'll, I'll give him an eight. I'll go along with that. I'll give him an eight. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely. I'll give him an eight. He came off near the end, but yeah, he 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 will always give you the work rate, which is 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 a part of the game that West Ham, as a team, need to have people that's going to work hard. The subs. Subs was Yamalenko. Did was he the first one on? Yeah. Yarmolenko came on for... Came on for... Anto no, um... Anderson. Anderson, yeah. Um, he done all right. But how long was he on for? Uh, he came on the 7th first minute, according to this. So 20 first, minutes. So 20 minutes. Did okay, yeah. He did tight. Yep. Um, he, he almost got himself injured. Yeah, he almost by, injured himself. A bit I think, reckless, yeah, I think he should have... I don't know. But he did okay. I mean, 
It's hard to um, grade a sub, isn't it? It's such short space. I'll give him a six. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that. I'd give him a six. Give him a six. Yeah. Then here we've got um, Hella. He, the thing I said to David during the game that it's kind of crying out for him because when we was obviously we went through spells on not having too much of the ball and when we was putting it up there we weren't winning the first or second header yeah. and I said obviously his strength is that he can sort of hold up the ball and he'd done that when he came on there was other instances where he's kind of a bit rash and, and sort of releasing the ball too early and, and things like that but in regards to his hold up play he was kind of he was needed uh, probably the, the time he came on was, was perfect yeah hold touch um, keep the scoreline as it was, and as he came off for Antonio, didn't he? Yeah, he came off for Antonio. Took the pressure off the team, and you know he he's good at holding up the ball, and he's good at linking the play once it gets up to the final third. So, so definitely I'm, a good substitution. And, and he was on yeah. for about fifteen minutes. Yeah, wasn't he? he was on for about fifteen minutes. That's right. I think seventy-six I, minutes according to. I would have to give him a six as well. Yeah, he I'd weren't on the six. pitch that long. He well, weren't. Yeah. It was it was, a, it was a solid performance for the amount of time he had on the pitch. And last but not least was Masawaku. Yeah, came Masawaku. on for for Nels, which is like I said, I would have done. At half time, and said and played him as a as a left sort of attacking winger or whatever. Like the of the four three midfielders or the attacking midfielders, I would have put him on the left and told him to just go at um, Reese James. Yeah, and and he did that. He had that. Yeah, effect, exactly. I mean, I think even when we got into the final third and he got higher up the pitch, um, Reese James, where he was playing closer to four nails and, and and most of the time taking the ball off him, sort of you know, back backing off. Exactly. Arc, I think. He knew that he couldn't just dive in at yeah. that player because he'd just skip past him. And even when he gets the ball in, in our defensive third, he's kind of, he's composed on the ball. Yeah. Sometimes you might say, he might, I don't know, he might look like he's on the beach and that, but he is, I think he, he has belief in his ability, so he's kind of yeah. composed in possession, which Definitely. sometimes... A substitution at the time and yeah, helped us. What, how, what time, when did he come on? 83rd minute. Okay, so that's another one, really. Yeah, so he had about, about 10 minutes on yeah. the pitch. I think it was five minutes at the time, five 12 minutes. minutes. Time, yeah. Do you know what? I think he had a good impact. Yeah, I'd, I'd give him the same as the others, actually. Yeah, he's yeah. got to be a six. It has six, because he's six. part of the winning team as well. I don't think we want to fall, fall down into the five. And so he I weren't on long enough to give him any more than yeah, that. Yeah. But if he played like that and he was on for half a game, he'd get a seven, maybe an eight. Yeah, maybe an eight, I agree. Um... Pellegrini, we got to give him some credit. Yeah, definitely. Because we've been bad, and ultimately it always falls on the manager. And so he 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 should get a lot of credit for today's yeah. result. Clean sheet away to Chelsea. And we know the pressure must have been well. We know because we've had, with the last two seconds we've seen this week. Yeah. You know, in the Tottenham and then, and then Arsenal, we know the pressure was on him. He's his neck was almost in a noose, wasn't it? So, exactly. So. Yeah, uh, he did well to get this. And I wouldn't even say sport. he's bought himself some time because the thing is, is like, I just think that every team's going to have a, a bad patch and whatnot, and maybe this could be the catalyst for us to sort of start yeah, picking up points. Yeah. I was never carried away when we was when fourth it, and all uh, that. Nah, because yeah. I know like we're West Ham man, and you understand like, but yeah, I wouldn't say he's bought himself some time because I don't really think he's. Yeah, I wouldn't put him as a as a consideration to be sacked because who would you bring in? Yeah. There's I heard no about David there. Moyes apparently, and but Eddie Howe they'll be saying about. But I don't think I think if you look at Eddie Howe, he's uh, Bournemouth. Not I'm not saying we don't rate him as a manager, but is he would he do a better job than Pellegrini? I doubt it. Exactly. And, you know, Bournemouth has been I think in the last three seasons yeah. conceded loads of goals. Exactly. They might even be the highest conceding goals in the Premier League. And and to, with all due respect, West Ham is a much bigger club than Bournemouth. Yeah. So there's yeah. different pressures there. So, yeah, I think Pellegrini needed that win, but that wasn't expected. I think as long as he didn't, we didn't get turned over, I thought it would be like four or five goals. Didn't get turned over, then he, he still would have been sort of yeah. where he was before the game. But to go there and win and get a clean sheet, credit to the manager. Yeah, And I think if there was a big call, it was putting Martin in goal. I think yeah. that seemed to have a big effect on the team the confidence of the team it just seems a different West we Ham need compared. Fabianski yeah. back though yeah compared to what we've seen you know he's, we need him kept back kept the ball well we didn't look like at any stage that like we were getting flustered or panicking nah. you know? and it was a good good solid performance yeah I have to once again Ogbonna was yeah. was, was immense seriously like colossal at the back and no Diop yeah. So he must be injured. Well, so he without him, yeah. obviously, because he wasn't even on the bench. So yeah, and I've injured. got a feeling that if if he was fit, he may well have gone free at the back for the. I don't know if that would have been the first time, but he might have thought, you know what, let's go yeah. those free at the back. 
So we weren't at our full strength, and to get a clean sheet, oh, that's a really bridge. big result, man. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Come on, you irons. Come on, you irons. We, uh, we got a few of those in when we was there. And, and we have to, we have to shout out DBXL as well. We yeah, DBXL. Yeah. Um, Anybody watching this, irons, look, look for our channel, DBXL. Yeah. Both Martin and I. Must We're have football support, coaches. Man. Yeah, football coaches. We have our own football. I want to grab this. My hands are going on it. I'll show you shit. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to take this. I wanted to take this off there. Sorry, I haven't got mine on. <laughs> I told Davy, if I take this off, while them Chelsea fans are still there, we would have went viral because we was like right in the shed and right at the back. Yeah. There was yeah. no one behind us. So that's how high up we were. So I was gonna like just show that. Uh, and, and before I forget, I must shout out Jake Richards, right, for the tickets. Thanks for that, Jake. Big, big thank you, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did, did and we must be some sort of... Um, good luck charm. Yeah, good luck charm we were saying on the way back because we've gone there and West Ham's got a win. I wanted to see the West Ham fan TV, like, when we got outside because yeah. it would have been good to, like... Yeah. But, yeah, it's... I like what they do. They have, yeah. like, their post-match pint and stuff like that. So it would be interesting to see, like, their their player ratings and stuff compared to what we've done we're doing this literally right after the game so we haven't um, watched the game back or we haven't heard anyone else's views on the game but yeah. from where we were that, those scores I think are, are fair um, but yeah so we are DBXL we run our own development center and football academy quite unique quite different and we're just hoping that we can somehow make this channel start growing this is a different type of video for us <laughs> But hopefully we'll do some more, yeah, some more videos like this. And couldn't miss this opportunity because we were going to watch West Ham at the bridge. So. Yeah, and I, we got the win. And <laughs> I'll have to say it again, I had no faith at uh, all. I, I, I called the draw, but yeah, yeah. you know, it was. It, I mean, to be fair, we, we knew it was a tough game, and we're happy that we've come out of it with a victory. Yep. Yeah, three points. So come on, you irons. <laughs> we've done this a few times, but it was hard. Oh, can I just say, some of them Chelsea, a lot of them Chelsea fans, they don't know what they're talking about. I had to see people there that say don't pass backwards and stuff like when they really had no choice the way we was defending they had to go back to start again and yeah. and they weren't really making much noise were they no. every now and again it's like we heard Chelsea news. Chelsea yeah. yeah West Ham fans this is what I need to say West Ham fans was in comparison to the players on the pitch they was the Ogbonna of today yeah. West Ham fans made the most noise kept on singing even obviously at 0-0 and, and Chelsea Chelsea weren't doing much for their team that it's like they want their team to spark before they start before cheering they start, no yeah. like the thing is yeah they they could have got behind their team more and, and they didn't and thankfully West Ham fans was constantly supporting the team yeah. so West Ham fans made a lot more noise than the Chelsea fans and we could hear it clearly from where we were weren't we? yeah it was it was a big difference so yeah. West Ham fans you lot are the best fans in the world we and you. we are the lucky charm please share this video like it comment subscribe Please help us grow this channel. Yes. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. And we'll see you soon. Yep.